that's just about the darndest thing. Walter's usually as healthy as a horse. I do have a theory about what's causing his illness. Oh? Yeah, what's that? You! Me? Yes, you! You and all your confounded machines that have been tearing up the jungle! You've obviously released some long dormant virus or bacteria! Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. You're just trying to scare me off this land. Well, it won't work! Now get out of my camp! You heard me! Get out of here! And don't come back! You know, I can't help but notice that we still have the logger problem. A minus one bulldozer. Minus one bulldozer. Now, if you ask me... I didn't ask you. Yeah, and that's a recurring problem, I've noticed. Anywho, I think our problem was this whole covert ops business. But I felt so stealthy! Oh, sorry, sorry. Hmm? Uh, think nothing of it, Tantor. Fascinating. See, what we need to do is hit them head-on, full force, head-to-head, -head, toe to toe I'm afraid that won't be necessary, Turk. This virus will take care of Markham and his men soon enough. Daddy? It's what I try to explain to Mr. Markham. Tampering with the jungle's ecosystem is dangerous. You see, jungle soil is home to thousands of ancient microbes. You know, germs, bacteria, and whatnot. Oh, I know just the type. Shh. Well, I do. When Markham tore through here all willy-nilly, he unearthed hundreds of microorganisms. But at least one of them is deadly. Quite deadly indeed. We must warn Markham and his men. We already have, Tarzan. I just want to listen. <laughs> the buyers hit them hard and fast. Daddy. So what do you think, Professor? These men are very ill. Without a cure, they will most certainly die. Well, we'll just have to find a cure. Daddy. Not now, Abby. Easier said than done, Mr. Markham. Abby! I, I don't feel very good. Shh, sweetie. Daddy will take care of you. I know you have nothing to gain in helping me. We will help you. You're a good man, Tarzan. Professor. I shan't rest until I've found the cure. Oh, you're not serious. You're not really gonna help that Markham guy. His men are sick. Yeah? And what's gonna happen if you cure them? You think Markham is just gonna say, Oh, thank you, Tarzan, and walk out of here? I, I don't think so. He'll go right back to bulldoze in the jungle. Maybe. We can't control what Markham does. We can only do what's right. Markham and his men will die if we don't help them. Hey, I don't mean to sound cold or nothing, but that's their problem! In what way is that not cold? You've just gone soft, that's all. I remember when the title Lord of the Jungle carried some real weight behind it. Turk. I mean, whatever happened to good old-fashioned poetic jungle justice, huh? Bad guys come here looking for trouble and get what's coming to them. Turk, what about Abby? Abby? Markham's little girl. You mean the really cute little one with the big eyes and the sweet smile? What about her? She's also very sick. Oh, what'd you have to go and bring her up for? Come on, let's get to work. And then the princess plucked the flower's petals off one by one and threw them into the river. While she chanted, He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. Easy, Abby. Now try to rest. Jane, am I gonna feel better? Well, I certainly think so. My father's promised to find a remedy and he's never let me down. And Daddy's never let me down either. Well then, I think we should both be quite fine. Now, Doctor's orders. Get some rest. Yes, ma'am. Don't let us down, Daddy. Sure, is conceivable, but I must have these ingredients. I'll find them. Wait. I know this jungle better. Tarzan, my daughter's life is on the line. Then we go together.
How many more? Just two. Great. What's next? The sap of a Duramba tree. That'll be a breeze. No, it won't. Why do you say that? The Duramba tree belongs to Buto. You get the sap. I'll deal with Buto. I'd say I got the better end of that bargain. are just over this hill. Or at least they used to be. This is the only place where you can find the flowers? It was. Oh, what have I done? You wanted to do the right thing for your daughter. You just made a mistake. Yeah, big mistake. Glowing lichen, yes, borgweed, excellent, derombe, tree sap, and... What about the... Hi, Daddy. Hello, Angel. How are you feeling? Not very good. <coughs> Can you read me a story? Sure, darling, sure. Once upon a time in a kingdom far away. What's this? Where'd you get this flower? In the jungle, remember? Why, uh, why, this is the very flower we need! I'll have a cure whipped together in no time! What's everybody so happy about, Daddy? Everything. Next? Brace yourselves! Go! Next? Ugh. I tell you, Mr. Markham, I feel like a million bucks. Glad to hear it, Walter. Glad to hear it. Get I'm telling you, Markham and his men are going right back to log in the jungle, just like I said they would. Relax, Turk. Hey, this is what you get for being all Mr. Nice Guy and doing the right thing. Hey! You need a makeover, buddy. Time to shed the softer, gentler image and go for the dark, brooding, vengeful Lord of the Jungle thing. Turk. Make sure you get that area. Don't miss a spot. Come on, people, you're on the clock here. What kind of logging is this? They're not logging. They're planting. Here you go. Plant them about a quarter of an inch deep. Irrigation, anyone? There. In a few months, this field will be blooming with those pretty flowers again. What do you think about that, Abby? Dad, you're it! <laughs> it? I'm not it. I'll have you know I haven't been it since I was ten years old. I can't thank you enough, Tarzan. What will you do now? I don't know. It'll be something a little less destructive, that's for sure. I hate to think what might have been lost forever because of me. At least, it wasn't your daughter. <laughs> 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 